Hi everybody, I'm Jenea. Welcome here to my channel. And today I want to talk with you about something called assuming generously. And so let me go into why this came up for me today. Because this is now Mental Health Month. This is May of 2022. And here I am, a mental health professional. And I haven't made a video in a few weeks for my channel. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm neglecting this role that I have put myself in. And I need to get on and I need to make something and I need to do something now. And, and I should be doing this. I should have already posted several different posts. I should have posted on Facebook. I should have posted on YouTube. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. How can I possibly allow that to just slip by as a mental health provider and not say anything? And then I was thinking about it and I'm like, wow, I sure do feel a lot of heaviness and obligation to quote unquote perform or to do something all because somebody else has deemed May as being the time for us to focus on our mental health. This is the time out of 12 months out of the year where we need to really sit back and think about what's going on for us internally when it comes to our mental health. And then I got really irritated with that because I'm like, we have a lot of months for different things, right? We have months for breast cancer awareness. We have months for different other forms of cancer awareness. We have months for a, you know, child abuse awareness. All of these different labelings of months and focus that we have are important every day of the year, not just one day out of the year not just one month out of the year, not just one week out of the year. They're important all the time. And while, yes, when we take the, mo the time to realize that, okay, let's really put some focused attention into these areas, maybe that will help us to carry through that focused attention at other times of the year and not just on the one specified day, week, or month that is, that is indicated to us as the time to be focused on it. And then this morning, I was walking through, I have multiple, and I literally mean this, I have multiple whiteboards in my house and on my refrigerator and on the walls. And I have this because I like to write down information as quickly as I can when it comes through. And there was something that I wrote a few months ago on one of the whiteboards, which was assume generously, give the benefit of the doubt. And that came up in part from your know, readings that I have read from Brene Brown. I really love her work. And, and one of the things she talks about is assuming generously. One of the easiest ways for us to assume generously is when we're trying to do that for somebody else. When we are trying to give somebody else the benefit of the doubt because maybe they just didn't know how they hurt us. They didn't know what they did that we felt to be rude or inconsiderate um, to us. So we can assume generously that perhaps they just didn't know. How often then do we take that and flip it over to ourselves and assume generously for us? And then it, the little light bulb went off in my head. I was like, here I am, a mental health therapist, telling myself that I need to be doing all these different things and I need to be showing up in a specific way because May has been deemed Mental Health Awareness Month. Is it assuming generously to myself to say, oh, I should be doing this, I need to be doing this, I'm a bad YouTuber or a bad therapist or a bad, uh, you know, Facebooker if, if I don't put out these messages and things right away at this specific time. And it's not assuming generously. And so I'm encouraging you to maybe sit back and say, are you assuming generously for yourself and things in your own life? And if you're not, then if you want to start the process of focusing on your mental health, that is a very important step. To begin with is can you just be aware of when you are not giving yourself the benefit of the doubt for doing the best that you can in that moment and 
and repeating this over and over and over again, going back through and asking yourself the questions, am I giving myself the benefit of the doubt in this moment right now? Am I perhaps placing extra burden and stress on myself when I don't need to? It's not necessary. It's okay. I'm a human. I'm doing the best that I can. And that is how you can begin to assume generously in your own life and begin the process of caring for your mental health. Mental health is one of those things that we don't see the outward benefits of focusing on it until we've done a whole lot of the inner work first. And so because we don't see our muscles getting stronger and our weight coming off and getting new clothes, we don't see those things happening. We think that we're not doing anything. We're not actually improving our health in that way or our mental health in that way or our emotional health. And the, in actuality, when you're just doing little things by starting to ask yourself some very simple questions, then you are building that mental health muscle. You are improving your emotional health just by becoming more and more aware of when you're being kind and loving to yourself and when you're not. And so in today's video, I'm not asking you to go out and to change anything that you're doing. You don't need to change a single thing except for allowing yourself to ask yourself questions. So asking yourself, are you giving yourself the benefit of the doubt in this moment, the way that you're speaking to yourself or the actions that you're taking, the things that you're doing? Are these behaviors, actions, thoughts, beliefs that are going through your experience in the moment, your mind, your, your thoughts, your voice, the language that you're using, are these things kind and loving to yourself? Are you being generous to yourself in that moment? And it may simply be you saying, yes, I am. No, I'm not. And if you say, no, I'm not, that doesn't mean you have to actually go out and change that behavior or that thought or that belief or any of those things yet. Because just simply becoming aware of when you are being generous and kind and loving to yourself and when you're not will naturally begin to change without you having to do anything grand or over the top or big, or anything special for that change to happen. So I want to thank you for coming in and sharing this moment with me. I very much appreciate you taking the time to be here. And I'm going to continue to practice the words that I'm preaching to you by assuming generously for myself throughout today and every day that I can remember to do it. And I hope that you'll do the same thing and just continue to ask yourself, Am I being kind? Am I being loving and generous to myself in this moment? That's the first step before any other changes even need to happen. And that is a very powerful first step in working towards improving your mental health and your emotional health and well-being overall. On that note, I would love to hear in the comments below how you're utilizing this information or things that maybe you do for yourself that help you to remember when you're being generous and kind and loving to yourself and when you're not. And also very much would appreciate if you click that little subscribe button, a little like if you happen to like the video, any of those wonderful things because it really helps out quite a bit. And I want to thank you again for your time and you being here. In the meantime, you take care of yourselves, and I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye-bye.